In this video, I'm going to discuss the five new Synchron support cards from Magical Hero. How most of the cards... I mean, they're usually god-awful. But in this pile of literal trash, there is one diamond that really shines, and could eventually be a top-tier card. And hey, I'll even show a combo to pull off the end board feature in this video's thumbnail. The first card is Satellite Warrior. It's a level 10 Dark Warrior Synchro effect monster with 2,500 attack, 2,000 defense, and the first part of its effect reads, if this card is Synchro summoned, you can target cards your opponent controls up to the number of Synchro monsters in your graveyard. Destroy them, and if you do, this card gains a thousand attack for each card destroyed. This removal effect isn't that great considering it requires so much setup. With other options for removal and even the level 7 pool of synchros like Yazi and Black Rose, they just simply outclass Satellite Warrior's removal effect. This is especially relevant considering Yazi and Black Rose require so much less effort to summon than Satellite Warrior, as they need any level 6 or lower monster and Distrudo, while Satellite Warrior needs all the setup you could ask for and then some to make this card really worthwhile. This leads us to the second effect, however, which reads, if this Synchro Summon card is destroyed, you can special summon up to three level 8 or lower warrior Synchron and slash or Stardust Synchro monsters with different names from your graveyard. This effect actually isn't bad, and from a card design perspective, it can reward that massive setup. Let's say you use a warrior Synchro like Road Warrior, this is only for the sake of the example as I know you probably won't be summoning this card, and a card like Formula Synchron. You then make Saddle Satellite Warrior pop two free cards and then somehow pop Satellite Warrior with the card like the Hawkeye Link 4 or Scrap Wyvern, Revive Formula, and Road Warrior, and oh god, that's still horrible. Can I get a tier amount in the chat for Satellite Warrior? Hold on, I'll even play the sad music. To go with Satellite Warrior, we have Satellite Synchron. I mean, who would have guessed? I wouldn't have. Bart, shut up! Anyways, it's a level 2 Dark Machine Tuner effect monster with 700 attack, 200 defense, and its first effect reads, if a monster is special summoned from your graveyard except during the damage step, you can special summon this card from your hand. Every time I think of this card, I think about Doppel Warrior, considering this special summon effect is highly similar. Every time I think Doppel Warrior, I think Junk Synchron, and that's what all the support makes me think about, especially when we look at that last support card. This special summon effect is fine, and if you ever wanted Doppel Warrior as a tuner, then there you go. You could argue that this card is outclassed by Quick Draw Synchron as a special summon, but I think that isn't necessarily true. Quick Draw requires a discard, this doesn't. This card can generically be used for Synchros, Quick Draw can't. They each serve different respective decks and scenario. Its second effect reads, if a Synchro monster with Warrior, Synchron, and Slash or Stardust in its original name is on your field and Slash or in your graveyard, you can make this card's level become 4 until the end of this turn. So it's long story short a level 4 or level 2. I think that's neat but not that big of a deal other than giving the card more versatility for synchro summons in the end this card is all right and i could see this being a one-up for any deck with searchable synchrons for the sake of versatility the third card is synchron chase which is a continuous spell and its first effect reads if you can synchro summon a warrior synchron or start a synchro monster you can target one monster in your graveyard that was used as material for that synchro summon special summon it in defense position this effect unfortunately is a hard ones per turn which is actually very relevant in this card and its capabilities. Okay, so if this card did not have that hard ones per turn restriction, or any restriction on the reborn effect, which is what I feel is necessary for this card to be amazing, then yes, it would have been absolutely amazing and definitely would see play in some decks. The problem is it does have this restriction, and because of that, this card is absolute garbage. It requires too much to resolve and doesn't outclass any other reborn card like Monster Reborn, for example. The second effect on this card reads, your opponent cannot activate cards or effects in response to the activations of the effects of your Synchro monsters, whose original names include Warrior, Synchron, or Stardust. It's not like this part is bad. I mean, I just love not allowing my opponent to respond to Satellite Warrior, if I ever summon it. Other than that interaction with Satellite Warrior, however, this effect isn't that crazy, and uh, yeah, this card is also absolutely horrible. Before we continue, if you want to support the channel while buying cards at the same time, make sure to check out my TCG Player affiliate link. You're supporting me while buying any card you need in the process. If you comment saying you use my link, you may even be featured in my next video just like this awesome lad. Once again, if you want to support the channel, my TCG Player affiliate link is a great way of doing that. With that, let's continue the 
the video. The fourth card is Scrap Iron Signal. It's a counter trap with the following effect. When your opponent activates a monster effect while you control a synchro monster that requires a synchro monsters as material, negate the activation. Also, after that, set this card face down instead of sending it to the graveyard. This card has one fatal flaw, and that is it's not searchable. If there was literally any extra deck synchro that could search this, that would be a game changer for synchrons, or warrior decks in general, as this card is absolutely amazing. Because we don't have a searcher though, and I don't think you would want to play three of this in a combo deck revolved around tons of synchro summoning, this card is horrible right now, and I don't see it being played in many decks, if any. I have a hunch though that soon we'll get a card to help us do this, and when that happens, it will be a glorious day indeed. And finally, that diamond that really shines or whatever the heck I was talking about earlier is the final support card Synchrons received, that being Junk Converter. This card is absurdly good, and let me explain why. Firstly, it's a level 2 Earth Warrior effect monster with 400 attack and 200 defense, and its first effect reads, you can discard this card and one tuner, add one Synchro monster from your deck to your hand. This effect reminds me of a certain level 3 warrior. Oh shit, Brigandine is in the Phantom Knights of Silent Boots? Oh my god, Bart, no! It's Junk Synchron! This card reminds me of Junk Synchron! The reason this card reminds me of Junk Synchron is because it puts itself in the grave and is a level 2. This automatically sets itself off for Junk Synchron's effect and to skadoosh themselves into a level 5 Synchro. Now, this card's relevance is dependent on the level 5 Synchro. If the World Chalice just assures a card, yeah, that's quite amazing for this card. Now, if it was just the discard at a Synchron, it wouldn't be nearly as good. However, we actually have a secondary effect on this card. That being, if this card is sent to the graveyard as synchro material, you can target one tuner in your graveyard, special summon it in defense position, but it cannot activate its effects this turn. So you're telling me I can use this, synchro into Ib, go CL1, Ib, CL2, Converter, revive the Junk Synchron, and then link those two into Needle Fiber and pop off? Yeah, that's pretty freaking hot and tons of advantage is about to be had. The discard for Converter's effect is also negligible considering how there are tons of good tuners to pitch, like Glow Up Bulb, Jet Synchron, Mecha Phantom Beast, O-Lion, Distrudo, etc. With all this in mind, you may be wondering what our end board looks like, and if you haven't seen the thumbnail of this video, let me demonstrate the combo for how to make that end board. Okay, so the combo requires Junk Converter, any tuner in hand to discard off Junk Converter's effect, and a discard for Brotar. To start, you're gonna use Converter effect and discard a tuner to grab Junk Synchron. Normal Junk Synchron and summon Converter from the grave. You're going to Synchro Summon for Ib and Chain Link 1 Ib, Chain Link to Converter. Converter revives the Junk Synchron, and Ib is going to search your deck for a World Legacy Guard Dragon. You're going to link those two into Crystron Needle Fiber on the right side extra monster zone, this is important, and you're going to go Chain Link 1, Ib, Chain Link 2, Needle Fiber. From here, Needle Fiber summons Flambell Guard, and Ib summons World Chalice Guard Dragon. You're going to link World Chalice Guard Dragon for Striker Dragon, Effect Striker to search Boot Sector Launch, you're going to link the Flambell Guard into LP and use its effect to summon Brotar, Brotar is going to discard the extra card you had in your hand that was required for this combo to search Absorator Dragon. You're going to link the Brotar and LP into Romulus and search Dragon Ravine. You're going to then link Romulus and Needle Fiber into Appalosa pointing to Striker Dragon. Again, this is important for the combo. You're going to use Ravine to discard Absorator and send Galactic Spiral Dragon. Now, Absorator is going to search Rocket Tracer and then you summon it with Boot Sector Launch. You're going to link it to Heratic Seal in the right extra monster zone. Technically, it could be left, but in this combo, I'm demonstrating with the right extra monster zone. You're now going to use World Legacy Guard Dragon to revive the Tracer. You're going to link the Tracer into Pisty and move the Pisty under the left extra monster zone with World Legacy Guard Dragon. You're going to revive the Galactic Spiral Dragon on the far left zone. Revive Flambeau Guard with World Chalice Guard Dragon. Now, Galactic Spiral can make everything level 8. You're going to overlay the Flambeau and Galactic Spiral for Hope Harbinger in the far right zone. You're going to use Pisty to revive the Tracer. Tracer's effect will pop the World Legacy Guard Dragon and summon a level 4 rocket from your deck. You're going to synchro the two rockets into Boralode Savage Dragon and equip Needle Fiber from your graveyard. And that's the combo. You end on a Heretic Seal Bounce, Appalosa with two negates, a Hope Harbinger, 
and a Borloed Savage Dragon. So I did modify the combo, but I did not originate it. And so I do want to shout out the YouTube channel Jonga and a player named Ryan Nelson for originating this combo. The link to his channel is in the description. This combo is surely something powerful and very easy to accomplish. And realistically, you don't need Junk Converter for this combo, but it's so easy to accomplish with just Junk Converter that I could totally see it being relevant in the future. There is no guarantee, however, that it's top tier Synchron support. If you guys want to see any other Link Monster discussions from Dual Overload, make sure to check them out in the end screen right next to me. Subscribe for more content. Thank you so much for watching, and with that, I hope to see you soon.